Gal Gadot has been married since 2008, so you can bet that she and her husband have an adorable meet-cute story, even though some may find it a little dry. Keep watching to see just how loving and supportive her family life is. Gal Gadot met her husband in, of all places, the middle of the desert. It happened back in 2006. As she described it to Glamour, we met through mutual friends at this very strange party in the Israeli desert. It was all about yoga, chakras, and eating healthy. We didn't exactly find ourselves there, but we found each other. When Gadot and real estate developer Yaron Varsano began talking, they instantly clicked. They had their first kiss the very next morning, then traveled back together to Tel Aviv and began dating within days. Gadot even broke the unspoken rule about waiting three days to call. Luckily, he was just as excited about their burgeoning relationship as she was. He's 10 years older than her, and he was ready to settle down and look for something serious. Why so serious? As soon as they met, Gadot and Varsano's relationship was unlike anything either had experienced before. From the get-go, they both decided that they were going to be upfront with each other about how they were feeling. As Gadot admitted to Glamour, both of us said, no games, let's just be honest and keep it simple. When they got back from their yoga retreat, Gadot immediately told Varsano that she was up for a second date, and luckily he was falling just as hard for her, as she revealed to Vogue in 2020. By the second date, he told me, I'm going to marry you, I'm going to wait for two years, but we're going to get married. I was like, fine. Gadot has admitted that she may have been too young at the time to truly understand how Varsano was feeling, but it ultimately ended up working out, as they tied the knot just two years later. While Gadot and Varsano's meet cute is a delightful romance tale, their engagement story is not one for the books. As Gadot told reporters in 2016, I'm going to keep that story to myself. To this day, nobody seems to know how these two got engaged, beyond the fact that it was very special. But one thing we do know is that this adorable couple got married in an intimate wedding ceremony in Israel in 2008, which was several years before Gadot gained worldwide renown as Wonder Woman. Even after she became one of the most famous actors on the planet, Gadot and Varsano have remained faithful to each other for more than a decade. As she wrote in a sweet Instagram post in 2020, You're my one, my only, my everything. Twelve years of marriage feels like a walk in the park with you. To many more to come, I'm yours forever. If you only know Gal Gadot for her acting work, you may be surprised to learn that she served in the Israel Defense Forces before she defended humanity as Wonder Woman. In fact, she met her husband while she was still enlisted, and he's a veteran himself. As Gadot explained to Interview Magazine in 2014, in Israel, it's a mandatory thing, and you have this service for at least two years. Gadot enrolled in the service when she was only 20 years old. At the time, she was fresh out of school, and her time in the military truly changed the trajectory of her life. After all, it helped her secure her breakthrough role as Giselle in the Fast and Furious franchise. Justin Lin, who's directed several of the movies in the series, had heard all about her experience with weapons and was thus interested in locking her down for the part. In 2015, Gal Gadot decided that she'd had enough of acting, as she put it during an episode of NBC's Today. There's so much rejection in this world that I was like, wow, maybe it's not for me. At the time, Gadot's husband and their first daughter were flying back and forth with her from Israel to Los Angeles in order to book roles, and it just didn't seem worth it anymore. Deep down, she hated Hollywood, and she began considering the possibility of going back to law school instead, but Varsano convinced her to stick with it. Having a baby made it hard, and leaving her at home while Gadot went to work was even harder, but Varsano told her exactly what she needed to hear. As she recounted to Female First in 2016, my husband told me, what kind of role model do you want to be? You love to work, you love to challenge yourself. Gadot ultimately decided that she wanted her daughter to see her following her dreams, so she kept on acting. And it's a good thing she did. Two weeks later, she auditioned for Wonder Woman, and she and her family's lives changed forever. As soon as Gadot's career took off, she began traveling all over the world for her various movie shoots. Wonder Woman 1984, for instance, sent her to Washington, D.C., as well as Spain and London. So you might think that she doesn't get to spend much time with her family. But there's a secret to this marriage's success, as husband and wife make sure to travel together. Fortunately, the life of an actor can also be pretty flexible. Gadot doesn't work non-stop around the clock year-round, as she instead takes a few months off to focus on her family full-time. And even though she's one of the biggest names in Hollywood, she and Varsano continue to call Israel their home. Traveling back and forth can be difficult, but there's a reason they don't like to reside stateside, as their daughters are now able to speak both Hebrew and English. As Gadot told Interview Magazine in 2015, 
Going through all of these experiences and meeting new people and going to different countries and cultures, you can only gain from it. All mothers are superheroes, but Gal Gadot was also playing one on screen when she became pregnant with her second daughter, as she'd booked the part of Wonder Woman for 2016's Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice. She and Varsano decided to keep the pregnancy top secret, as she didn't want to receive any special treatment. Alas, her morning sickness didn't make that easy. Then, when she was making 2017's Wonder Woman, the pregnancy was a bit harder to hide. When it came time for reshoots, Gadot was five months pregnant, so the crew made a big triangle on her stomach and painted it green so that it would work against a green screen. And I came to work, me and Maya, we came to work together. By this point, Gadot and Varsano had already been parents for several years, as it was back in 2011 that she gave birth to their first daughter, Alma. Then in 2017, they welcomed baby number two, Maya, and 2021 saw the arrival of their third daughter, Daniela. Now we're whole. We've, we've been expecting her the whole time. And now it feels so good. Traveling all over the world together has kept Gadot and Varsano very busy. Once Wonder Woman took off, Varsano sold off all of his real estate properties in order to be available for his wife. When he was left questioning his next career move, husband and wife decided to do something together. As she told him, you're a developer, develop movies. So in 2019, Gadot and Varsano formed their own production company called Pilot Wave Motion Pictures. A majority of their projects feature female empowerment, which certainly makes sense, as they're coming from the actor who plays Wonder Woman. With this venture, it's clear once again how supportive Varsano is of his superstar wife. As Gadot declared on Instagram in 2020, I truly believe that together we're making a true impact by sharing these incredible stories that will empower, lift, and inspire women and men all over the world. Yaron Varsano has played such a supportive role in his wife's life that she eventually opted to officially give him a supporting role on the big screen. When Wonder Woman 1984 was released, fans did a double-take when it was revealed that Varsano had a cameo in the film. It's blink and you miss it, but towards the end, a snowball is thrown by the couple's oldest daughter, Alma. A little bit later, Varsano is seen on the merry-go-round with their middle daughter, Maya. As Gadot noted in an interview with Kevin McCarthy, it meant a lot, especially in that very special scene. Since Varsano has supported Gadot throughout her entire career, it only made sense to have him be a part of it. As Gadot described it, this movie is more than just a movie for us. Getting cast as Wonder Woman completely changed her life, and if her husband hadn't convinced her to stick with acting, she never would have even had this opportunity. I couldn't have done my movie without the support of my amazing family. It's not just all work all the time for Gal Gadot and Yaron Varsano, which was clear enough when she posted a photo of herself on a bike on Instagram in 2019, along with the caption, On my days off, I like to pose on bridges. And that's not the only image out there of her enjoying herself on two wheels, as she and Varsano have frequently been spotted biking together. While this is a great activity for these two to enjoy together, it wasn't always that way. While Gadot was filming Fast and Furious, she had an off-screen hobby that took this love a little further, as she enjoyed cruising around on a motorcycle. But when her first daughter was born in 2011, she decided that this was one hobby that was too dangerous to stick with. Riding a bike is definitely much safer, and it's also much easier for Gadot to do it with her husband by her side. As he gushed in a 2018 biking selfie on Instagram, cherishing and thankful for these precious moments. While playing Wonder Woman has been an absolute dream come true for Gadot, she and Varsano will always put their family before anything else. As she noted during an interview with Baby Magazine, I may play a goddess in Wonder Woman, but I feel like a true goddess after giving birth and being the mother of beautiful daughters. One of the first things that Gadot considers before accepting a role is the effect that it will have on her daughters, as the films she chooses have to be flexible enough for her to have family time. Thus far, her acting life has been extremely manageable, but now that she and her husband are producing movies as well, their schedule is bound to get even more hectic. Nevertheless, as Gadot explained in that Baby Magazine interview, even though we are both busy with our work, family life comes first. I am a very, very happy woman who can hardly wait to come home to my family every time I finish work on a film. Even though they spend plenty of time in the spotlight, Gadot and Varsano like to keep their private life out of it, especially when it comes to their children. As Gadot explained to InStyle in 2022, they're the only thing I make sure to keep as private as possible. I want them to be naive and safe and protected. Whenever the couple does share any photos of their children on social media, their faces tend to be covered with emojis or otherwise obscured. Although, when they introduced the world to their youngest daughter, Daniela, the world did get a peek at everyone's faces. But we probably won't be seeing too many family photos anytime soon. 
As Gadot noted to InStyle, I share a lot, but as far as my family goes, I'm very protective. It feels whole and it feels complete and we're super happy and grateful. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.